Amanda here. Today we're going to be doing a cardio and upper body dumbbell and band workout. Don't worry if you don't have a band, you can always use dumbbells as a substitute. Let's start with our march. Lift that chest, shoulder blades back, and breathe deeply. All of our cardio exercises will be knee friendly and our dumbbell exercises will be focused on upper body. Breathe through this, add a push pull. Get warm through the chest and shoulders. Push out, pull back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Two more, and let's take it into heel jacks. Lifting through the chest. Try to lead with the thumbs while pulling the shoulder blades back. Nice soft knee bend here. Light on the feet. Two more, and punches. That's it. Again, we're getting warmed up through that upper body. Nice, easy punches here. You don't have to go super hard yet. We're just getting started. Keep it going. Two more. Let's go side to side, add a curl. Warming up through the biceps, pulling the shoulder blades back. Keep it up. Chest is lifted, two more, and shake it out. All right, we're gonna start with our first round. Our first move is going to be a double knee up, so we're gonna go two to the right and two to the left. Following that, we're going to take it into swimming. Then, we've got a side leg step out and a core twist with the feet planted. Let's start our timer, let's do it. Double knee ups to start. So. Feet fairly wide, we're gonna start with that right knee in three, two, one, let's go double, switch, double, switch. That's it, we're going for 20 seconds each. Keep it light on the feet, you can do it. Shifting the weight side to side. We're gonna get ready to take it into swimming. In two, one, let's go, swim it out. So my back is flat, chest is out, and I'm working through that range of motion with the shoulders. Imagine that you're moving smoothly through the water. Keep it up, core engaged. You've got this. Double knee up, starting on that left side. In two, one, let's go. Take it to the left and the right. Left, right, that's it. Left, right, you've got it. Keep it up. We've got another round of swimming coming up in three, two, one. Let's swim it out. That's it. Again, we're folding forward from the back, whew, pushing the bum back, bracing through the core. Work through that upper body. We're gonna go into our second round. We've got side leg step outs coming up on that right side in two, one. Here we go, step it out. Out of the arms. You can have your hands on your hips or move your arms like a speed skater. You've got it. Get that toe tap. We're gonna go wide with the feet for core twists coming up in three, two, one. Twist it out. Lift the chest. Brace through the obliques. Keep squeezing through the core. You can do it. We're gonna get ready to take this over to side leg step outs on the left side. In three, two, one, let's go. Again, hands on the hips or add the arms. The pace should be fairly quick on these, but still light on the feet and knees. Keep going. You can do it. Five more seconds, we're gonna take it back to those core twists. Two, one, let's go, twist it out. That's it, brace through the core. Imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach and you're bracing for that punch. Keep it up. We're gonna take it back to the top with our double knee up, starting on that right side. In three, two, one, let's go double right, double left, double right, double left. You've got it, keep the rhythm. 
Nice deep breathing. We're gonna go back to swimming in five, three, two, one. Let's swim it out. That's it, pull, pull. Full range of motion here. You're working through that shoulder, pulling back before moving smoothly forward through the water. That's it, double knee ups coming up on that left side. Three, two, one. Let's go double left, double right, double left, double right. That's it, double left, double right. Keep it up, double left and double right. One more round of swimming coming up in three, two, one. Swim it out. This is a great opportunity to really get your heart rate up and really focus on shoulder range of motion. Keep pushing. We're going back to that second round. Side leg step out, starting on that right side. Three, two, one. Let's step it out. Add the arms if you like. Stay light on the feet and knees. Gentle bend in that anchored leg knee. Keep pushing. That's it. We've got a core twist coming up. Three, two, one. Wide stance. Let's go. Twist it out. So we're going to take it to side leg step outs over on that left side, followed by one more core twist. And then we'll take it to our first round of upper body dumbbells. That's it. Side leg step outs coming up in three, two, one. Left side. That's it. Gentle knee bend. Keep that heart rate elevated. You can do it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Breathe through this. One more core twist coming up. Two, one, set the feet wide. That's it, twist it out. Again, brace through the abdominals. You've got it. Keep breathing. Right to the end of this round. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, shake it out. Grab a water break here. We're gonna take it to our first round of dumbbells. Two moves. We've got single arm dumbbell rows. So I'm going to be using a 15 pound dumbbell for this. Select your weight accordingly. We're going to be doing 10 reps per arm. So starting out with the weight in my right hand, I'm going to stagger my feet so left foot is forward, right foot is back, chest out, bum back. Let's raise it up. Here we go. Row 10, squeezing the shoulder blade. Nine, try to keep your hips stable. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the lower. Six, brace through the core to stay steady. You've got it. Four, three, two, and one. Over to the other side. Place it in the left hand. Once again, fold forward from the hips. Back is flat, chest is out. Let's go. 10, nine, squeeze that shoulder blade back. Eight, seven, you can do it. Six, five, keep pushing, keep pushing. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna lower this down. I'm going to reduce my weight to fives for a standing lateral raise. So select your weight accordingly. Feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted, shoulders back, soft knee bend, and just slightly elevate those pinkies so they're just a little higher than the thumbs. Let's get ready to go for eight. Here we go. Eight, really squeeze the shoulder blades. Seven, strong posture throughout the lift. Chin in a neutral position. Three more here. Three, keep it up. Two, one more here. One, lower it down, back to rows. So once again, I'm gonna switch it out. Just my right hand, 15 pounds. Feet wide, fold forward, chest out. Let's do this, 10 reps, 10. Exhale up, nine. Breathe through it, eight. Brace the core, seven. You can do this, six. Get that shoulder blade retraction every time. Pull, three more here, 
three, two, and one. Over to the other arm. Switch it out, fold forward, chest pushed out, bum back, pinky slightly elevated. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Seven, exhale up. Six, inhale down. Five, four, three, almost there. Two, and one. Back to lateral raise. Switch out that weight. I'm going with fives. Feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back, pinky slightly elevated, and a soft knee bend. Let's go for eight. Eight. Exhale on the way up. Seven. Keep the chin in a neutral position. Six. Breathe through this. Five. Exhale on the way up. Four. Inhale on the way down. Three. Get that squeeze. Two. And one. One more round of each. 10, bent over rows, starting with that right arm, back flat, chest out, pinky slightly elevated. Let's go, 10, that's it, nine. Now, try not to use those legs. I know the back is starting to fatigue, however, we're using the back muscles and not hoofing the weight up using our core or legs. Two more, two, and one, over to the other side. Fold forward, chest out, back flat, pinky slightly elevated. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, that's it, get that pull. Seven, squeeze that shoulder blade back. Six, five, breathe through it. Four, three, two, and one, one last round of eight lateral raises. Swap out that weight. Feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back, and chest lifted. Let's go. Eight, seven, exhale on that lift up. Six, remember there's a gentle pulling back of the shoulders as you raise the arms up. Three more, three, two, and one. Ooh, all right, lower it down. We're gonna go to our next cardio round. We've got half jacks, followed by crossover high knees. Our second round, we've got a step touch pec fly, followed by alternating hooks. Let's do it. Setting the timer, 20 seconds per move. So starting with those half jacks, palm up, gentle knee bend, right side. Ready? Let's go, 20 seconds here. Now, in the half jack, gently pull your shoulder blade back as you raise the arm. Try to maintain strong posture here with the gentle knee bend in that left leg. Keep it up. Crossover's coming up. Two, one, here we go. Cross it over. That's it. You can do it. Get that knee up nice and high. Keep breathing. Half jacks are coming up next on that left side. Three, two, one, let's go, half jacks. You can do it. Let that heart rate climb. The crossover is gonna be a little easier, so it's gonna get the heart rate down. Half jacks should get your heart racing. Keep going. Crossover's coming up in three, two, one. Let's cross it over. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Push through this. We've got our second round of cardio coming up. And we're gonna start with our side to side pec fly. Going right in two, one, let's go. Step right, step left. Nice and low here. Push the palms inward to squeeze your pecs. Keep it up. Press, press, that's it. We've got alternating hooks coming up and we're starting with that right arm. Three, two, one, let's go right, left, right, left. That's it, get that elbow up nice and high. In this move, you're punching your opponent in the side of the head. So get that elbow up, put some weight behind it. 
Pec lies coming up, stirring to that left side. Two, one, let's go. Left, right, left, right. That's it, push inward. Again, we're using those chest muscles. Imagine that you're pressing the heels of your palms inward, creating tension. That's it. Get ready for hooks. Two, one, let's go left, right, left, right. That's it. You can do it. Now we're gonna take it back to the top on our next round. We've got half jacks coming up. Once again, starting on that right side in three, two, one, let's go. Fast pace here. You can do it. Get that heart rate climbing. Once again, heart rate's gonna come down slightly on the crossover knees. So you've got that little bit of active rest coming up. In five, three, two, one, cross it over. That's it. This one's a little easier, but I still want you to get that knee up nice and high. You can do it. We've got our half jacks coming up on that left side. In three, two, one, half jacks. Pulling that shoulder blade back. Once again, keep the pace fairly quick. Stay light on the feet and knees. You can do it. Get that heart rate up. Crossover knees coming up. In three, two, one. Let's cross it over. That's it. A little chance to catch your breath here before we go into our final round of pec flies and hooks. Keep it going. Pec flies, we're gonna to start to the right on this set. In two, one, let's go. To the right, to the left. Push it in. Remember, you're pressing with the heels of the palms, really letting that tension build. Stay light on those feet. Slight squatting position. We're gonna go into hook, starting with that right arm. Three, two, one, let's go hook, hook. That's it, punch. Put some weight behind it. Use your power, keep it up. Almost there, just one more round of pec flies coming up to that left side. In three, two, one, let's go left, right, left, right, that's it. Following this, one last set of hooks to finish this round of cardio. And then a water break coming up after that. You can do it. You're ready for hooks starting left in two. One, let's go. Hook, hook. That's it. Keep going. Right to the end of this round. 10 more seconds. Don't slow your pace. Keep pushing. Almost there, three, two, one. Whew. All right, shake it out. Now that our heart rate's nice and high, grab a water break, catch a breather if you need it. We're gonna go into our next two strength moves. Now in this round, we're gonna start with a dumbbell shoulder press. Following that, I'm going to use my resistance band for a band pull apart. Now if you don't have a band, that's no problem. You've got a couple options here. You can either, from a standing position, keep your palms up, Leave the thumbs, squeeze your shoulders, and release. Or, with light dumbbells, go into a forward fold into a rear delt fly. All of those moves, band pull aparts, standing tees, or rear delt flies, all work the same muscle group, which is the back of the shoulders. All right, let's do this. Starting with our shoulder press, I'm gonna go with 15 pounds. Select your weight accordingly. Feet, shoulder width apart. Start with the elbows at 90 degrees, palms facing out, chest is lifted, and the shoulders are back. Let's go for eight. Exhale, eight. Breathe through it, seven. Try not to rush through these reps, six. Try to pull your belly button in toward your spine to help engage the core. Also try to squeeze your butt cheeks together to maintain a steady position for the lower back. One more and lower it down. From here, I'm going to switch it out to my band. For this, I'm going to be using an overhand grip. If you're doing body weight, go ahead and use an underhand grip with the palms up. 
Chest lifted, shoulders back, soft knee bend. Let's go for 10. Here we go, pull, 10. Now with the band, I'm pulling the band right to my chest and gently squeezing the shoulder blades, pausing to get that shoulder blade retraction every time. And this is one of my favorite upper body moves. It's so good for strong posture. Exhale, inhale, three more. Breathe deeply. One more here. And release the shoulders. We're going back to that shoulder press. Once again, select your weight accordingly. I'm going with my 15s. So feet shoulder width apart. Bring those elbows up, palms out, shoulders back. Let's go for eight. Exhale, eight. Squeeze the glutes, seven. Breathing through it, six. Oftentimes this is one that we want to rush through, especially on the lowering phase. Try to gently and slowly lower the dumbbells back down until the upper arm is parallel to the floor. Two more, two, and one. All right, let's lower it down. Once again, switch it out. Either a band, dumbbells, or body weight. So I've got my overhand grip just outside of shoulder width apart. Set the shoulders back. Let's go for 10. Exhale, 10. Squeezing through the shoulders, nine. Breathing through it, eight. Get that shoulder blade retraction, seven. Exhale on that outward pull, and inhale on the release. Five, really feel those shoulder blades squeeze. Four, three, two more here, you got it. Two, one left, one left, one. Whew. All right, release those shoulders, shake it out. We've got one more set of shoulder press here. Select your weight. If your shoulders are really fatiguing, you can always reduce your weight slightly. Feet shoulder width apart, palms out, chest lifted, squeeze the glutes. Let's go. Eight, try not to rush through. Seven, I know that's tough when we're feeling tired. Six, keep the chin parallel to the floor. Five, breathe through this. That's it. Two more, two more, you've got it. Two, stand tall, one. Woo, all right, lower it down. One more band pull apart, standing T or rear delt fly. Select your weight accordingly or add your resistance. So feet shoulder width apart, start in front of the chest, chest lifted, let's go. 10, let's take that squeeze. Nine, really pull. Getting that shoulder blade retraction is the key to working the backs of the shoulder blades. Exhale on the pull, inhale on the release. Six, five, keep this up, stand tall. Four, try not to swing through that lower back. Three, two, one more, one more, one. Woo. All right, shake it out. Grab a water break here, catch a breather. We've got another round of cardio coming up. So in this round, we're gonna start with a knee up with a punch. Then we've got standing W's, moving side to side. Following that, lawn mower pulls. So in this one, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna go down to the right side, I'm gonna pull like I'm starting an old school lawn mower. And finally, we've got a tricep kickback. Let's do this. Setting our timer, had a little bit of a chance to catch your breath. So knee raise with the punch. That knee up and punch are simultaneous. Get ready, two, one, let's go. Soft knee bend here, that's it. Good chance to get your heart rate up here. We're gonna go side to side with that W. So we're gonna start with the right side and that step touch. In three, two, one, step touch right, left, right, left, that's it. Get nice and open through the chest, pulling the shoulder blades back. You can do it. That's it, nice and open here. Get ready for that knee raise with the punch. Left knee in two, one, let's go, punch. That's it. Just a soft knee bend here in the anchored leg knee. 
You can do it. Keep breathing. Pushing through this. We've got our side to side W's in two. One, let's go left, right, left, right. That's it. So our next move is gonna be our lawnmower rows. And we're gonna start with our left hand so that we're facing down to the right side and getting that pull into a wide stance in three, two, one. Let's go. Down and pull, down and pull. That's it. Get that full shoulder blade retraction every time. We're gonna fold forward from the hips for our tricep kickback in four, three, two, one. Bring it in, kick it back. That's it. So my back is flat, chest is out. I'm keeping those elbows in nice and tight to the torso. You can do it. Squeeze through the back of the upper arm. Push, push. Get ready to go wide with the feet. Right hand in two, one. Let's go. And pull, pull. This one is an explosive pull. Doesn't have to be the fastest movement. It's all about that retraction. It's all about that explosive pulling movement. Keep this going. Triceps in two. One, let's go. Kick it back. Once again, back is flat. Chest is out. Neck is in a neutral position. So your gaze should be several feet in front of you, about 45 degrees down toward the floor. We're gonna get back to that knee up punch in just a moment. Keep this going in three, two, one. Let's go right knee. That's it. Let that heart rate climb. You can do it. Light feet, light knees. We're gonna go back to our side to side W and we're gonna start to the right side in three, two, one. Let's step right, step left. Get that pull. That's it. Keep breathing. You can do it. Squeeze. Get ready to go over to that left knee in two. One, let's go, knee up punch. That's it. Keep working. You can do it. You got this. Remember, it's your workout. Your pace doesn't have to match mine. We're going left. Two, one, here we go. Step touch with the W. That's it. We've got another round of lawnmowers and triceps coming up. Keep this going. Push through, push through. Starting left hand. Two, one, let's go. Pull, pull. Now remember, it doesn't have to be the fastest motion. It's all about that shoulder blade retraction. You can do it. Squeeze. We're gonna fold forward from the hips in five for tricep kickbacks. Two. One, bring it in, kick it back. That's it. Once again, back is flat, chest is out. Try to pull the abdominals in, belly button toward the spine. You can do it. We're gonna go back to that wide stance for another round of lawn mowers. In two, one, let's go. Pull, pull. You got it. Squeeze. Explosive upward motion. One last round of tricep kickbacks coming up in three, two, one. Let's go. Last 20 here. Then we've got one more round of our upper body strength exercises. Once again, I'm going to be doing a combination of the band and the dumbbells. Five more seconds. In three, two, one. Whew. All right, shake it up, grab a water break. So in this round, I'm going to be doing the band for my bicep curls. Once again, if you don't have a band at home, that's no problem. You can always do a hammer curl using your dumbbells. So totally up to you if you use the band. You have a couple options with the band as well. Depending on the length or the intensity of your band, you may want to have 
just one foot on the band, which gives you a little bit more uh, room so that you can curl it up if the band is short, or both feet on the band, which increases the intensity and the tension. So it's up to you, figure out which piece of equipment works best for you and which stance works best for you. I'm gonna go with two feet on my band, chest lifted, palms up, elbows in. Let's go for a curl. I started the timer, we don't need the timer. You're gonna ignore that, exhale, curl it up. We're going for eight here, four, five, keep those shoulders back, six, two to go, two to go, seven, and eight. Ooh, right on, 20 seconds. All right, let's stop the timer. That's just force of habit. Lower the tube down or the dumbbells down. We're gonna take this into an overhead tricep press. Now, for this move, I like to use two dumbbells with the heads of the dumbbells side by side. You can also use one heavier one, depending on what weight you have available to you. I'm gonna do two 15 pound dumbbells. Feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna bring the flat sides together, up and overhead. Chest is lifted, shoulders are back. Let's press it up for eight. Here we go. Eight. Exhale up. Seven. Stand tall. Six. Go for the full range of motion here. Oftentimes in this move, we have a tendency to cut the motion a little bit short. Make sure you're getting that full range. One more. And lower it down. Back to biceps. You can use your tube or your dumbbells, whatever feels right for you or whatever you have available to you. So once again, one foot or two on the band, lift the chest, roll the shoulder blades back, and let's curl it up for eight. Eight, keep those elbows in nice and tight. Seven, what I like about the band, six, is that the bicep curl gets just a little harder right at the top of that curl, and you can get nice and tight in toward the bicep on that upward motion. One more, Whew. lower it down. Triceps, one dumbbell or two, your call. All right, bring the flat sides of the dumbbells together, up and overhead, elbows in nice and tight. Let's go for eight, eight. Now remember, full range of motion here. Seven, all the way down, all the way up, that's it. Five, four, keep the core braced. Three, try not to let that lower back flare. Two, one more, one more, one. Ooh, all right, one last round of biceps. Once again, we're gonna use either the band or dumbbells. One foot or two, if your biceps are fatiguing, you can always switch to one foot if you had two on there. Shoulders back, chest lifted, palms up. Let's go. Eight, nice and slow. Seven, once again, really get that squeeze at the top. The advantage of the band is that the range of motion is a little bit bigger, just a little, than a dumbbell. When you bring the dumbbell up, of course, the heads of the dumbbell get in the way of the shoulder, so you can't quite get that high a squeeze. And lower it down. One last overhead tricep press, and then we're going to stretch it out. Select your weight. Feet, shoulder width apart. Flat sides together, bring it up and behind and lift the chest. Let's go. Eight, just a soft knee bend here. Bending the knees and gently squeezing the glutes can help to prevent that lower back from flaring, especially as the arms start to fatigue. Three more, you've got it. Three, two, one more, one more, one. Ooh, all right. Catch a breather, grab a water break if you like. We're just gonna shake it out here. A little bit of mobility. Stack the forearms, lift the chest. We're gonna start with that right arm on top, gentle knee bend, and we're going to rotate while opening up through that chest. Look back to the thumb and bring it in. Let's go for six. If your heart rate's really elevated and you're still grabbing water, that's no problem, just jump in. Whenever you're ready, and you can always do an alternating version, if you're a few behind on single side. We've got one more here. Bring it in, stack that left side on top. Let's go to the left. Six. 
Get nice and open through the chest and shoulders. Five. That twist should feel pretty good. Four. Keep the hips facing forward. Three. Breathing deeply. Two. One more. One. Ooh, all right, shake it out. From here, we're going to take this into a standing spinal twist with the fingertips just behind the ears. Lift the chest, pull those elbows back. Gentle knee bend. Let's twist 45 degrees through the torso, over to the right, back to the center, over to the left, back to the center. We're just slowly cooling down here, working through range of motion, breathing deeply, twisting through the spine. Two more. One left here. And relax those arms down, shake it out. We're gonna take this into a body weight shrug. So let your arms hang down, pull the shoulder blades back. We're going to pull up, squeeze through the traps, and then push the clavicle down past neutral. And up, squeeze, down, press. Up, squeeze, down, press. When you push the clavicle down past neutral, you should actively feel the clavicle pressing down toward the floor, which is called depression of the shoulder blades. One more here. And relax. Let's stretch out that chest, clasp those hands behind, roll the shoulders back, tuck the chin in, and nice big exhale. Breathing through it. Heart rate should slowly be returning to pre-exercise levels. Stretch out that back, fold forward, really rounding through the upper back, pushing the palms away from you. It's like you're pulling your shoulder blades apart. And bring them up. Reach up and add a slight lean back through that lower back. Just let yourself arch slightly. Deep breath in. And out. Lower those arms down. Lastly, let's stretch out the neck. Take one hand and just place it on top of your wrist. Now I've got a watch on. I'm just going to slightly move my watch. Lift the chest. Now gently pull that arm across. And now we're going to turn the chin. So I'm looking down over the shoulder of the arm that I'm pulling. Getting that nice stretch here. Now I'm going to lift my chin, look up. It's just a slight look up, just enough to get that stretch. Release and take it back to center. Take that other hand, place your hand just on top of the wrist, gently pull across the body. Once again, we're gonna turn the chin down, looking over that left shoulder, getting that stretch. You should feel this right in the front of the neck, right in front of the clavicle. And when you're ready, just gently lift the chin ever so slightly. So you're just slightly pointing your nose up toward the ceiling. And release, bring it back to center. Deep breath in, exhale. We're all done for today. Thanks for joining everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day.